Welcome to this instructional video for the King Korg Editor from SoundTower. In this video, we will be diving into the main pages of the SoundTower King Korg Editor that represents the front panel of the King Korg. Having all the available parameter controls on screen is a great way to graphically see and adjust every possible nuance of this powerful instrument. Combined with the hardware encoders on the front panel of the King Korg, the King Korg Editor provides a perfect companion to make your programming fun, fast, and intuitive. So let's get started. Before we can begin, we have to confirm that the King Korg is communicating with the computer. We have provided a more in-depth video on connecting the King Korg if you need it, but we'll just hit the main points here. We're connected to the King Korg through USB between the instrument and the computer. You must power up the King Korg prior to opening the editor. To confirm the connection, we simply click MIDI, then MIDI Setup. If we have set the King Korg up in the past, it should be online. Close this window, and we're back on the main screen. If the King Korg is not online, please review the MIDI Setup video to confirm all settings are correct. When the King Korg editor first opens, you're presented with this view. At the top of the editor is the display for the current program in the King Korg. If you click on this, you are presented with a dialog that allows you to change the name of the program and select a category from a set of preset names. Don't forget, if you make a change here, the name in the list and on the front panel of the King Korg will reflect that change, but it is only in the edit buffer. You must write the change to the synth to make it stick. Next to the name readout are receive and write buttons. Clicking the receive button will transmit the current program on the King Korg into the editor. Clicking the Write button will overwrite the current program in the King Cork. As shown in a prior video, you will be presented with an opportunity to save the modified program to a user slot. Next is the Voice Mode display, offering Single, Layer, and Split modes. When in the Split mode, you will need to set a split point, which can be done by selecting the split key from a list, or by clicking on the small keyboard to open a larger keyboard where you can click on the split point. The split point will be represented on the smaller keyboard on the editor panel. Next is the key response options, and then the timbre B channel. Below this top area, you have a navigation bar that allows quick access to all the various groups of related controls and other features. We'll just run through the main groups quickly, then return to look deeper at each one. Starting with programs, here you have a complete listing of all the programs in the King Korg. There are 200 factory programs and 100 available slots for you to store your own sounds. With the use of the King Korg editor, you have access to all the available programs on the King Korg and a great way to move and store all your sounds. Without any of these category buttons across the top of the list selected, all the programs are displayed. You can select any of the available categories and only those sounds will appear that have been identified as being a member of that category. This can seriously help in finding the right kind of sound quickly. Synth, lead, bass, brass, strings, piano, keys, and sound effects and vocoder. Next we have the oscillators page. The main focus of this group is the three oscillators for the two timbres. In the Filter Amp group, there are comprehensive controls for pitch, filter, and amp settings, as well as voice mode controls. Next to that are the two envelope generator controls and graphic displays for each of the two timbres. Each of the envelopes have a graphic display of the envelope shape where the segments can be clicked and dragged to be adjusted instead of using the rotary controls. The LFO group provides access to the two individual LFOs for each of the two timbres. Next to the LFO are the virtual parameters. This allows you to set source, destination, and values for the various modulation routings. Next is the vocoder controls. And next to that, the effects and arpeggiator controls. Let's go back to the oscillators page for a moment. 
For many users, being able to grab hardware controls for some of the functions may be better for certain tasks. Other functions in your workflow may be significantly easier using the editor. When you do make adjustments on the front panel of the King Korg, the software responds to the hardware input. Don't forget to put the King Korg into edit mode by pushing the page up button. As an example, I can adjust the tune control on the editor, or I can adjust it from the front panel of the King Korg. Or I can select the oscillator sound source by spinning the knob on the synth until I find it. Or I can use the convenient drop down list on the editor. Use whatever combinations of hardware and software control that best suits your style. Let's run through some of the features of these pages in more detail while editing a program in the King Korg. I'm going to start by initializing a program and save it to a location over a program I don't need. Okay, let's take a couple minutes here and we'll just do a quick sound on the editor. We'll go back to that initialize sound. Okay, I just thought we'd do a real simple uh, bass sound just to, just to show off the uh, editor. So we'll drop that down a couple octaves. Now let's change this out to a Moog style filter. That's a little mellower. Now let's uh, open up another oscillator. Another saw. Drop that down one octave. We'll detune that a little bit. And we use this analog tuning just to simulate the drift that's uh, normally associated with old analog synths. There we go. Now let's uh, start doing a little bit of work on the uh, on the on the filter envelope. Get that darkened up a little. Okay, we'll start with that. Something I wanted to show you that's just really exciting with the editor that you just cannot do on the King Korg by itself. You can take certain sections of the editor and copy it, in this case, from one timbre to another. So as an example, I can copy the oscillator and envelopes from timbre A. Actually, first, let's put this in, uh, in layer mode. So I've copied layer A, and I can paste that into B. Now both sides of the, of the layer are the same. Now I need to uh, do the same thing with the, uh, with the filter. This is for amp and filter. Paste it down to B. And now both sides are the same. What's really fun with this is I can hit the pan on the timbre A, flip it left, timbre B, flip it right. Now because of that analog tuning, you're already hearing it fat, but then I can detune B and it gets even fatter. Now that that's basically set up, you can sync timbre A and B. Now any adjustments that you make will be made to both timbre A and timbre B simultaneously. So any adjustments I make now will be done on both the uh, timbre A and timbre B. And this is just something that is not possible with just the uh, King Korg by itself. Let's do a little further adjustments on, uh, on both sides, spend a little more time on the filter. As I said, this is just a pretty simple bass sound, but I just wanted to show you the advantages of the uh, of using the editor. So clearly, if you're going to do any deep editing on the uh, King Korg, it's much to your advantage to use the uh, the editor, especially with this ability to sync your actions between the two timbres, if that's the kind of sound you're working on. And it's a, a great, great uh, con companion to the to the front panel controls on the King Korg. Before leaving this section, let's take a look at Phantom Banks. Under the File menu, click Phantom Program Banks. This is an area where banks of up to 100 programs can be saved and recalled. You can add programs one at a time. Select a program on the King Korg, click on a slot on the bottom half of the screen, 
and click Add Current Program. You can collect as many programs as you wish, up to 100, and then save them out as a bank. And you can save 16 banks. If you've created a lot of original programs stored in the King Korg and you want to save them in banks, you can load and save those banks in one operation. Just click Load From, select the bank from the King Korg you want to load, name the bank, and click Save. From the Edit menu, you can also copy and paste programs, rename a program, set up an initialized program, and remove a bank. The Phantom Program Bank feature is a great way to create and store your best sounds and keep them easy to find and recall. Okay, that's it for this quick overview of the main panels of the Sound Tower King Korg Editor. Please take a look at the other videos that cover other features of this handy tool to get inside the King Korg. It's so easy.